All right, guys, check me out. We're getting ready to make some chicken liver pate. I need it for our charcuterie board that we're doing. So I'm draining what I did with the chicken liver. Excuse me if you don't like chicken livers. I'm sorry. I love them. But look, all I did was take them out the carton they came in, and I'm draining them. That's all I'm doing here is I'm draining them. Drain them the best I can, and then I'm going to pat them dry here in a minute. But that's what we're doing here. All right, doing my best to pat them dry. Paper towels, just... Pat them dry best you can. That's all I can say. Want them bad boys dry. Then you want to do the best you can cleaning them. You don't even want to take the connective tissues because you don't want the, that chewy taste. That'll mess up the whole dish. It'll be stringy and chewy. And that is, that's a no-no. That's a no-no. So that's what we're doing here. After we pat them dry, we're cleaning them bad boys. I know it seems like a little process, but anything that you make from scratch is all about the little things. It just takes your dish to a whole nother level. All right, get your skillet, medium high heat. Put some uh, some vegetable oil in there, and just start cooking off your uh, chicken livers. A little salt and pepper, and um, brown them bad boys. I'll put a little crust on them if you can. Try to put a little crust on them, and then just, we're gonna just set them to the side while we do the onions and everything else. But that's what I'm doing at this at this point right here. Turn them chicken livers over. Like I said, look at the color. Look at the color. Like I said, you want the little brown. You want that brown. That's flavor. See that brown? Ooh, that's flavor. Trust me. That's flavor. That little crust right there is flavor, flavor, flavor. So, and then we're going to cook these off and set them to the side. Okay, I got them looking the way I want them to look. So now I'm going to add some garlic. Because we're building flavors. We're going to add some garlic. Toss these bad boys around. Then we're going to set them to the side. For the next step, just be with me. Just be patient. Be with me. All right, let's toss some bad boys together. Yes, sir. All right, let's start prepping up our onions. All you want to do is just slice up some onions because then we're going to saute, saute these bad boys down in some oil. It's a little process. Trust me. Don't rush the process. Hit that pan with some oil. Throw on your, your onions. Start caramelizing them bad boys down. Much just caramelize them bad boys down. Hit it with a little salt and pepper. Start caramelizing them bad boys down. Look at that color. That's beautiful. Like I said, salt and pepper. Hit it with some butter. Just start cooking them down. Flavor, baby. Now look, I added some brandy. The glaze of pan. Thing hit me kind of hard here, man. I wasn't expecting this. I'm trying to be cool right now, but I wasn't expecting it to hit me like that. But we're going to deglaze the pan. Everything's coming together. We're building the flavors. We're not rushing the process. Now, look at that. Beautiful. Now, here with a little heavy cream. We just want to, like, just render that down. Just render it down. Render it down. It's all coming together. I'm going to see. Look how beautiful that is. Oh, yeah. We're going to take that. Just set it to the side, all right? Set it to the side. Then we're gonna start forming our pate. We're gonna add that ch them chicken liver livers that we cooked. Then we're gonna go behind that and add the onions that we cooked down as well. That's just flavor on top of flavors. Then we're gonna start mixing this bad boy until it's nice and smooth. We're gonna add a little brandy. Then we're gonna add some cold butter. Add that, get that fat flavor in there. And like before earlier, I said you can add like truffle or whatever different flavors you wanna add, but. So now we start creaming this down. Just start let your mixer let it, let your mixer do its job. All right, let's hit that with a little brandy. I just tasted it. Hit a little brandy, and I hit it with a little more salt and pepper. And then what we're gonna do is go back to mixing it. And trust me, <laughs> this thing is good. I'm gonna cream in my butter, a tablespoon at a time. It's gonna give it a nice silky texture. It's gonna add more fat flavor. And it's just gonna do its thing, do its thing. So hey, don't rush the process. Start creaming that bad boy out. Start creaming it out. Take your time, tablespoon at a time. Depending on how much you're making, I'm adding about six tablespoons here. Fat rules, man. Fat rules. And this is gonna help seal it too when you put it in the refrigerator also. Make it become solid. I'm going to taste it here, see where we're at. See if I got to add some more salt, pepper, a little more brandy, what have you. Always taste as you go. 
Like I said, we're building flavors, baby. Too easy. Too easy. All right, I got what I want here. The texture's perfect, nice and smooth, man. Nice and silky. Got that little hint of brandy in there. So I'm going to divide them up evenly here. And then um, I'm going to put some film on top of it, man. But, uh, hey, the butter creamed in perfectly with it. The fat content is lovely. Too easy, man. Too easy. I'm going to put some film on top of it. It helps preserve you. It helps hold the top of it oxidize and start change the color and it helps keep. Or you can add some butter. I, I mean, some clarified butter on the top. I add some to show you. It helps preserve it. keeps it in. Give it a longer uh, shelf life. But, uh, Definitely want to make sure the film is touching the pack too. Trust me. I've done this before. Oh, here you go. Uh, some clarified butter. That's also, that's good to use. It adds flavor and help, like once again, helps to give it a longer shelf life. Preserves it. Helps it top from not oxidize, like turning a darker color. And anytime you add butter, trust me, it just adds flavor, man. So, it helps your pack taste stay longer. Yeah. Here we go. This is how we presented our security board. Man, you talk about good. And look how beautiful that thing is. Too easy, baby. Too easy.